Hey everyone, it's Professor Clark. Welcome to chapter six. We are now halfway through the textbook, or more than halfway through the textbook, and are steaming towards the end of the semester. So in this short little lecture, we are going to learn about the verb chetietz, or to want. The verb chetietz means to want and is frequently used very similarly to how we use to want in English. So that's a, you know, friendly, pleasant change. And when we use it in a sentence, we can use it with the accusative of a noun, like ya chachu knigu, it takes a direct object, or the infinitive of a verb. So just like English. So we can say ya chachu knigu, I want a book. Book is the direct object. Or, I want to read. It's the same construction. The tricky thing about chetietz is not the constructions we use it with, but the fact that it is one of the very few truly irregular verbs in Russian. In the non-past tense, it is first conjugation in the singular, and not just first conjugation, but first conjugation with a consonant mutation and a stress shift, and then it is second conjugation in the plural. So we can see the paradigm here. Ya chachu, so te goes to ch, and then ti chochish, we have the stress shift, ana chochit, and then we go to the plural and all of a sudden we switch to second conjugation and the stress shifts back on to the second syllable. My chetim, vy chetite, ani chetiat. So this is very weird. Uh, and it's the only verb that does this exactly like this. Uh, it is truly irregular and you just have to memorize the paradigm in order to use it correctly. It's just super weird. The good news is that once you learn it, you learn it, and you can just go forth and use it correctly after that. And the past tense is perfectly regular. Un chatiel, ana chatiela, ano chatiela, ani chatieli. So that is the verb chatiet, to want.